Hey guys, Frosty Knives here, back with another video, and today it's going to be a haul video. Um, so recently, a couple of days ago, I went to my local Goodwill, and I found some books. I came upon a treasure trove of books. Um, somebody must have recently donated uh, a lot of books to the, my local Goodwill, because there were tons of horror novels, science fiction novels, fantasy novels... I could have easily walked out of there with about 25 books, 25 to 30 books, but I tempered myself and decided that I was only going to buy a reasonable amount of books. Um, so I decided I was going to buy all of their horror books, which amounted to about uh, 10 books. 10 books I picked up from the Goodwill. Um, and recently, as you guys uh, may have known, or I may have mentioned that I've recently been on sort of a, a kick or a tear to find uh, to find old horror books, books uh, by authors I haven't read, books I haven't read, um, especially looking for books uh, like horror books from the 70s, 80s, 90s, like some really old school horror. Um, that's sort of what I grew up on, and I would love to get back into finding some of those old pulp horror novels that you just don't see anymore, can't find anymore, maybe the authors have never written anymore, people who have never really made it uh, big, or maybe they did make it big and I just, I missed them, uh, that, that's possible, so um, I'm really excited by what I picked up, the 10 books that I uh, have, most of them are horror, uh, one of them is a fantasy book, one of them is a science fiction book, and one of them is a thriller. So, uh, let's get into it. So, the first book uh, that I found uh, is a book that I've never read, and I don't know the author, uh, but it is a horror novel. So, this is a book by J.N. Williamson called The Monastery. And it looked intriguing. Um, this is a book from 1992. Um, so it's an old horror novel from a grand master of horror and world fantasy award nominee, enter a place where one's darkest desires and most deadly terrors come true. Um, I like a lot of the old timey sort of right cover art that these, these novels have. Um, so never heard of them, never heard of the book. So I thought I would pick it up. Sounded very intriguing. And they had another book there by the same author, um, and this is from 1990 um, by J.N. Williamson, and this is a book called Hellstorm. Hellstorm. After five centuries, the demonic book of might has resurfaced. Now all hell is about to break loose on earth. And it's got sort of a like an embossed demon or devil or Satan face on it. Um, old tidy writing. So, so two books by the same author. Hellstorm, vivid, graphic, uniquely surreal nightmares. J yeah, okay. Vivid, graphic. Jacob Weir. Oh, that's the name of the guy who's in the book. Jacob Weir is one of the greatest characters in modern horror fiction, period. So it sounded interesting. Again, both of these books are, by, are books I've never read by an author I've never heard of. Um, fairly small-ish books, but uh, sounded interesting. So we picked that up. And then I picked up a book. This book is from 19, uh, 1991. This is by John Gideon. John Gideon. And it's called Greeley's Cove. Another horror novel. No, there's some good cover art there. An epic masterpiece of modern horror. They all say that, right? Can't all be epic masterpieces of horror, or maybe they are, and I just missed them. It is their dream. It is their nightmare. It is their home. So this is apparently about a house on the edge of town, and people are scared of it, and things go boogie in the night. So um, this also sounded interesting. Um, so pick that one up. If anybody has read any of these, know any of these authors, please let me know and down in the comments below what you thought about it. 
um, because most of these books I've, I've never heard of. Here is a book, however, that I have heard of the author, and I have read some of this author's previous work. Uh, Richard Lehman, Body Rides. I did read a Richard Lehman book. I've read The Traveling Vampire Show. I guess I've only read one of his. He's written quite a lot. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed The Traveling Vampire Show. So I found this. This is an early-ish novel. 2004. And I liked Richard Lehman. And it sounded intriguing. Uh, it comes with a recommendation from Dean Koontz. Right? No one writes like Lehman, and you're going to have a good time with anything he writes. Author's Restored Version, first time in print. Um, but I did like, oh, it's got Stephen King on the back, too. If you've missed Lehman, you've missed a treat. So, I really enjoyed The Traveling Vampire Show, so I figured I would like to read more of him. So, I found this and picked that up. And then a book which by an author who apparently is a big-time British horror novelist, and I just was not aware of that. Um, this is from 1982. 1982, so an oldie. And this is Ramsey Campbell, and the book is Dark Companions. Again, some really good old-timey uh, cover art. And this is a collection of short novels, short stories by Ramsey Campbell. And apparently, Ramsey Campbell, uh, as I was researching, is a very big British horror novelist, a big deal, um, and has done a lot. And I must have missed that or just never have come across him. So I was glad to pick this up. The world Ramsey Campbell takes for granted is The World of Our Darkest Nightmares from Peter Straub. And apparently... Uh, also researching uh, this author, this uh, Ramsey Campbell is apparently really big, really high on Stephen King's lists of favorite horror writers. Um, and apparently he has a book, he has a story in this book uh, called The Companion. And apparently Stephen King called that one of his, one of the top three horror stories he's ever read. So really big praise from, from King. Um, I do like short stories. I do like short horror stories. There's a, there's a certain uh, flair, a certain flair to write uh, short horror, right? I mean, you can write long horror because you have the time to elaborate and to sort of weave your threads, but to write a really good short horror story you know, with 30 pages or 40 pages and and really just drive home a point. That's that's a special gift and that's very unique. Um, so I, I like when authors can do that. And apparently Ramsey Campbell is um, somebody I probably should have been reading all along and just now discovering. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I picked up uh, a book by... Tamara Thorne, called Bad Things. The house has been in his family for generations, but it really belongs to them. Oh, gripping fiction. Fanta fascinating rise into the heart of terror and mayhem. Uh, so this sounded, uh, sounds like a, like a haunted house, ha haunted house type novel. Um, so, again, this came out in uh, 1994 and have not heard of this author or this book. So, it decided that that was a good, sounded good to me. So, we'll see how this one goes. And then I picked up a book. This is not a horror novel or it is a horror novel, I guess, depending on how you view horror and how what it is. And I can tell you what really what really drew me into this book, and, I, and I'll tell you in a minute. But I picked up uh, by Michael Marshall, The Straw Men. And the first thing I noticed was it's got uh, a, a little blurb on the cover from Stephen King called, it, it just says, A Masterpiece from Stephen King. 
And then I flipped it open and I went, oh, there's another blurb from Stephen King on the inside. And you flip it open and it says, just when you think there's nothing new in the world of the suspense novel, along comes one hell of a nasty spider called the Straw Men. It's brilliantly written and scary as hell. When Stephen King calls a book brilliantly written, scary as hell, nasty, and a masterpiece, that piques my interest. Um, and this book came out in, it's kind of new, no, this came out in 2002. And it seemed really interesting. And from what I was able to glean from it, is that this is a book about a secret society called the Straw Men, and they do some nasty things. Um, so I'm actually really excited to read this. I think I might read this one after I finish the book that I'm reading now. Maybe I read them in tandem. I don't usually do that, but I'm really, really intrigued by this particular book. So I can't wait to read to read this one. And then I picked up uh, a book that's not really horror, but uh, it's fantasy. I guess it's fantasy. Um, and this is by Clifford D. Simak, Where the Evil Dwells. Into the lands of the evil they went. Two men, a, night, a not quite man, and a girl who knew too much. First, first paperback publication. Well, I guess this is the first time this was published as a paperback. So this is the first paperback copy. 1982. And it sounded interesting. Secretly and in stealth, four puny humans set out to invade the heartland of evil, the so-called empty lands. I guess technically it's fantasy, but it, it sounded interesting, and I needed an extra book to round out my ten, so this is what I settled on. And then this next book uh, is interesting. This is a book I used to have, and I don't honestly remember if I ever read it, but I know I owned it. I know it sat in my bookcase for a while. I no longer own it. I must have gotten rid of it for some reason. I don't, I don't know. But I picked it up again. Um, and, I, and maybe this time I'll, I will read it. I don't know if I read it the first time or not. I can't remember. But this is from Jeff Long, Year Zero. And this has an extremely interesting premise. This is a, a thriller. And the premise is, uh, uh, I could read you the whole thing uh, because it's very interesting. In Jerusalem, an American archaeologist working on Project Year Zero, the search for the historical Jesus, crosses the line between science and theft when he helps plunder an old Roman landfill beneath the crucifixion grounds known as Golgotha. Nathan Lee Swift's cry will have devastating consequences. When an ancient relic is opened on the black market, a 2,000-year-old plague is unleashed and the dying begins. Ah, plague story. As the pestilence threatens to wipe out humanity, he finds a chance for redemption by finding the cure. Skirting the edges of civilization, Nathan Lee sets out to find his younger daughter and travels to Los Alamos, where a desperate tactic has been adopted. The use of human lab rats cloned from Project Year Zero remains. Now Nathan Lee will come face to face with one special cloned human who may hold the key to salvation in more ways than one. Patient Zero claims to remember who he is, and his name is Jesus. And that sounded really interesting to me as far as a thriller went. Right up along the lines of like a Dan Brown uh, type deal or something like that. So, um... I did have it, I no longer have it, and now I have it again. And this came out in 2002, so it's newer-ish. And then the last book I picked up, which is not horror, it is science fiction, is a book by William C. Dietz, and it's called Death Day. Great reading for anyone who loved Independence Day or The War of the Worlds. And this is a novel about aliens. On Black Friday, the aliens attacked. The human race was enslaved. But soon, everything will change. And what really kind of caught my attention on this one was there was a little blurb on the back that says, a non an exciting nonstop action thriller along the lines of V. I loved V. I loved watching V as a kid. That is 
one of my favorite science fiction shows or one of my favorite 80s shows. I loved V. It was so good. And if they're comparing this to V, then I'm slightly intrigued. Um, so this one came out in 19... Nope, 2001. Again, newish. Um, so that's, that's Death Day. So guys, those are my 10 novels, 10 book pickups the, that I got from the Goodwill that I'm really excited to get into some of these books. Um, so if, again, if you know any of these books, if you've read any of them, if you know the authors, let me know what you thought. No spoilers, right? We want to, we want to try to discover this, this, uh, land on our own, but tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you've read it. Tell me if you've read the author. Tell me what you thought. If it was good, if it was not good, if you think I'm wasting my time, um, you know, I'm, I'm probably still going to read them all, but man, I'm just really interested in reading that that straw men book that just sounds super interesting so guys that was my haul video i uh, hope you enjoyed it i uh, hope it gave you some new ideas new authors new books to look out for new things to maybe sink your teeth into uh so again if you liked it uh subscribe hit the little bell share it give it a thumbs up tell your friends tell your enemies and until next time i will see you um, in the next video.